Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you had a fabulous week. We're going to start off the video, of course, doing our 15 seconds forgiveness, love, and gratitude boost. Put your hands on your chest. Say, I forgive you. I love you. Send immense love and gratitude. You ready? Begin. There you go. Congratulations on healing yourself 15 seconds at a time. And please do that exercise as often as you like throughout the day. It'll help you heal, I promise. So continue on your, my quest to help make 2022 an abundant year for you in all areas of your life. I am personally interpreting the scrolls from The Greatest Salesman of the World by Ogmandino. Because we are salesmen of ourselves at all times. And if we can improve on these things, we can have a richer, fuller, happier life in all areas if we just do a little work. So we are currently on scroll number nine and no, scroll number nine says, I will act now. In this chapter, he says, my dreams are worthless, my plans are dust, my goals are impossible unless they are followed by action. He says, I will remember the lesson of the firefly. A firefly doesn't light up unless it's in action. So he says, I will become like a firefly and my glow will become so bright that you'll see it in the sunlight. My light will brighten the world. He says, I will not put off today what I can do today for tomorrow because I know tomorrow may never come. He says, I will impress in my brain these words. I will act now. I will act now. I will act now because now is all I have. He says, tomorrow is reserved for the lazy and I am not lazy. Tomorrow is, is when the weak become strong. I am not weak. Tomorrow is, weak, is when a failure becomes successful. I am not a failure. He says, when a lion is hungry, he eats. When an eagle is thirsty, he drinks. Because if they don't act, they will perish. He says, I hunger for success. I thirst for happiness and peace. I will act now. It's pretty good stuff, right? <laughs> so what are you hungry for in this life? What are you thirsty for in this life? You know, what do you want? You know, what are the things you want? So knowing what you want is number one. But then once you know what you want, you have to make a plan to do some action towards it. So write down those things of what you want, you know, do you, what do you want? Do you want more money in your life? Do you want more happiness or love, more peace, more better health? You know, what are those things? Write them down. Then look at your list and you start to think about ways to put some action to them every day, just little things. But just so you're aware, you know, writing this list down, actually thinking the things you want is action right now. Once you write it down, then you gotta take another action, you know? of actually doing some homework on how you can improve these things, you know, look up things or whatever, you know, you're thinking about ways to improve these things. Um, that's action too. But then you, you got to take it another step further, actually doing action. <laughs> so knowing what you want, writing down the, the plans to, to improve those areas, how you can improve them, but then doing little bits every day towards that goal. Because at first, you know, when you make a plan, it's hard for your mind and body to accept it because, you know, it's not a belief in your body. But once you start to actually do physical things to this, to go towards this goal or desire or whatever it is you want, now that helps solidify that belief in your body. Like, okay, you're serious. You really do want better health, you know, because you are working out a little bit every day or changing your diet or whatever. You start to, you know, bring that belief alive inside of you. But you have to actually do physical action towards these things because that's how you fill up your dream or goal or desire with, with energy. You know, you're putting energy towards it. You know, it takes, you got to put out before you get back. You know, you have to invest before you withdraw. So, you know, put some action into these things that you want, but what do you want? Only you know what you want. So make your list, 
then write down ways you can do these things, you know, work towards your list, and then actually make a little plan to do little things. Don't go crazy doing things. Don't stress yourself out. It doesn't have to be that hard because even a little bit goes a long way, you know. You have to start small because you're making a big change in your life, so you have to start small. But just do something every day towards whatever it is you want. And eventually it will become easy. Eventually you'll have enough energy into it that it pulls you. You know, it's no longer a struggle. You know, if you worked out for 30 to 60 days straight, right? Even a little bit. If you just woke up every day and did a 10 minute exercise routine for, for 30 to 60 days, then eventually when day 61, you're just gonna get up and do it. It's not gonna be hard to do it. You're gonna be like, I have to work out. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's a part of you now. That's what happens with everything we wanna do in this life. You know, it becomes, it becomes easier because now your body believes it. Now your body wants it. Now you feel better and everything. You're like, oh yeah, I'm doing this. And then you just get better and better and better and it becomes easier. At first it's a struggle. Then you remember back two months when you started and you're like, wow. I used to have to kick myself in the butt to do this stuff, you know, but it's like that with everything and you can do it at any age, um, any time, I promise. So if you need help or ideas or anything, I can help you with that. You know, just reach out. You know, it's my life's mission to help make life happier, easier, healthier for you now. You don't have to die to make good on anything. You don't owe anybody and you owe the best for you, you know you this is your life so what do you want so reach out if you need help okay um, click like and share if the video was helpful there's a link to my youtube channel but just know that i love you and got you and it is my soul's heart soul life's purpose to help you you know feel better now because the happier you become the healthier you become and the healthier you become the happier you become so i got you okay so prayers to my first responders out there prayers to my family and friends and how rich are you right you're very rich guys you know that and, you know take take now i want you to name five things on your hands that you are grateful for right name those things and then put them right here on your heart and put your other hand over it mm -hmm, and feel it because you know you're very blessed so i'm blessed to have you but please reach out if you need all right guys i love you so i'll see you next week bye